Matt's going to make my job a little bit easier, okay, tonight, and he's going to basically hold his elbows up like this. So, now this isn't natural, okay, unless he's trying to sort of bench press me away. But if I start trying to choke Matt in real life, like this, see the shape, okay? So when I see that shape, I see arm bars. I don't expect him to be a beginner and, and make this shape. That's just like a beginner bench pressing you into an arm bar. I more expect that shape. So when I'm here, yeah, like I'm going to see how he has to try to protect and now I've got his arms, okay? So let's have a look at doing our arm bars and we're gonna go side to side, side to side. So some like world-class athletes, you know, like a black belt under my coach, Carlos Machado, he does this as plan A, Rafael Lovato Jr. Even though he doesn't need to do two arm bars, but he always set, it's, it's like he's got a cross, the second one, but if you've got a good cross, you definitely want to throw the jab, so you set up the cross. So even if the cross is your weapon, it still benefits you from throwing the jab, okay? But if the jab was your weapon, if that doesn't work, you want to have a cross to back that thing up. So whoever you are on this mat, this drill is going to really benefit you. So he makes his shape, and I'm going to control his arms, okay? So for this drill, I'm actually going to control both arms, just like this. I control his arms, and I'm going to step up on my foot, and I swing my leg over, and I land here perpendicular. Okay, so my spine and Matt's spine are perpendicular on the mat. Now from here, for Matt to defend, what does he want to do? Same thing as our Kezagatami escape we did earlier this evening. He's going to bridge towards me and he's going to try to pull that elbow out. Like that. So what are we going to do? Arm over, feet to the front, come over, other leg around. Okay, so I almost hop on him like I'm sitting on mount like this. Like watching TV or something? And then I spin. He bridges into me, he pulls his arm out. Sit on him, swing the leg. He bridges into me, pulls the arm out. Sit on him, swing the leg. So you see that for Matt to do the opposite of an escape, so if I'm arm barring this arm, he wants to bridge to that side and then use his lat and pull his arm out. But what would Matt do if he wanted to give me an arm bar? He would turn that way and he'd poke his arm up in the air. I guess what he would do. But watch what happens. Because as I armbar this arm, as he holds onto it with his hands and he bridges into me and pulls his arm out, look what he did. He put that shoulder off and that arm up. So I can be right here. So if this guy is bigger, fitter, faster, stronger than me, and I know I'm not gonna be able to armbar him, I can just go for a bit of a fake armbar on this side. So I can go, oh, I want that arm bar, but notice I don't fall all the way down. And now he pulls his arm out, and I'm here. And I'll take that arm. But I can go on forever. But make sure, even if I don't want an arm bar, if he pulls this arm out, what happens? He gets to his knees, and now if I don't catch him, he'll pass my guard. So the very minimum, the break-even point, if you will, from this technique is when you're armbarring a guy or girl and they get their arm out, so he pulls his arm out, at least get back up to the top. Even if I don't get an armbar, I still want to live to submit this guy another day. All right, so there's the speed. Real, real time, you don't need to go that fast. Okay, just here, reach it out. That's plenty fast enough. That, if you go any faster than that, you're gonna be relinquishing control for speed. And speed is not the limiting factor here. Control will be, okay? So let's not go too fast we make mistakes. Let's not go too slow that he can pick apart our mistakes. Okay, let's go. Thanks for watching the video, guys. For more videos, click here. To subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour-long series for free on footlocks and how to defend footlocks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom, guys. I'll see you next time.